I'd like to welcome my next guest, Paige. Hi, how do you feel? Good. <laughs> Happy you to be sure? here. <laughs> Happy. I always have a question. <clears throat> and my question is, is, do you want to know everything? Yes. Yeah? Are you sure? Yes, I do. Um, I know nothing about you. <clears throat> Thanks. I've got someone who's coming in who's very apprehensive. It's a gentleman, either a husband or a partner or... People were shocked about the two of you getting together. Yes, they were. Very shocked. Was there an age difference? Oh, yes. Because Were you older than him? Because mm -hmm. I feel you were a lot older than him. <laughs> yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good girl. <laughs> because he's laughing. I was 13 years older than my fiancé. Um, yeah, it was just supposed to be fun at first, but I fell in love with him right away. He... He wanted... He wanted the rest of his life with you. I never believed it. I know. I never believed it. And then he's talking about oh, holding his holding something in a certain way. I, I don't know what this. It's like I'm holding a dog lead. Um, it's what we call it in England. You call it a leash. Um, don't tell me anything. Okay. Did he work with animals? Because he keeps showing yes. me that he could. He worked. He showed me he was very in tune. Mm -hmm. with animals yes. and he's showing me big animals not dogs either a cow or a horse because I feel like I'm grooming this horse yes and he's saying that's the reason why I'm here yes who's Marky Marky um, well his name was Marcos oh so I got the E and okay okay he had been grooming horses for a living. He loved the animals, he loved his job. Like Lisa said, he was very in tune with animals. He says animals are always unpredictable. Do you understand this? Yes. He said, I shouldn't have let it happen. Like, throughout my body, I feel pain. I feel a lot of pain, like some form of kick or, or something. I felt like a jolt. He should have seen it coming. He should have. He should have seen it. Did he get kicked by the horse? Yes. Right. Okay. This horse, was it a chestnut horse? Yes. This horse was very nervous, very apprehensive. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm bringing all this up to you. Whoa. Okay. Were you pregnant when he passed? Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, I was. In February of 07, my fiancé was kicked and killed by a horse while I was 13 weeks pregnant with her daughter. The horse that killed him was a chestnut. How could she know that? He's showing me this horse getting very restless. I want to know what happened. Okay. I'm so sorry to say this. I feel the horse had seen the spirit that was coming to collect your partner. And that is what spooked him. Now, sadly, if it hadn't have been that situation, it'd have been something else, because it was as though that spirit was around him, ready to receive him. I'm sorry. That's the answer I needed. I wanted to know what happened. And I feel like either something was severed or it was split. What he's taking me to is a reading that happened several years ago where a mother had lost her child. This daughter of this, uh, my client, she fell over the handlebars of a bike, but she ruptured her liver through the handlebars. She looked perfect, but he's saying that that was very similar to his. Do you understand this? Yes. It was a liver injury, and um, she also picked right up on that when she talked about the, his liver was actually severed. It was cut in half, and so she was right on. He keeps saying people thought he was going to survive and going to get through this. He knew he wasn't going to. And you knew this as well. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. I just didn't want to admit it. Okay. He's showing me several different things at once. Let me, I've got to categorize it out. He's showing me that he was trying to communicate and talk to you. Does this make sense? Yes. And he's talking how he was, how he was coherent. Yes. Was he trying to pull on something? What was he pulling on? The breathing tube. Right, the breathing tube. I feel like 
<laughs> I'm trying to pull on something. Right. And he's showing me that he was trying to talk to you. He'd had a breathing tube down his throat, so he couldn't, he couldn't talk. And the more he tried, the more his heart rate would go up. And they, they stopped him. They told him if he tried to talk to me, they would have me leave. And it's, it's just driven me crazy for the last year and a half, wanting to know what it was he was trying to tell me. He said everything had to be shut down. Mm -hmm. That you had to turn the machine off. Yes. But I want you to know it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. Oh, that's good to know. He's just said he was trying to tell you that he knew he was going to go and to look after his baby. He's calling your other daughter his girl as well. Mm -hmm. His girls. Right. His girls need a father figure. Right. He's saying they have one. Yes, they do. What he really loves what you did. He really loves it. He's not jealous. Thank you. It was important to me to know that he was okay with the fact that my oldest daughter's father is helping me raise my baby. He is the father to both of my girls. He's the daddy to both of my girls now. And he was very jealous of him when he was alive. And so I wanted to be sure that that was okay with him. So it was really nice to hear that. That's closure I've been looking for for a long time. This jealousy, please don't be worried. Okay. So he's saying he knows that you have to meet others. He knows that you have to meet other people. And he knows that you have to have a life. He's still with you. And he's just said, I want you to know that it's OK to get on with your life. <laughs> OK. He said, I was jealous in that life, but not this. Okay. I feel so much better about that. Do you? Yes. Yes, I do. I'm glad. Because he was. He was very jealous. Was he? Yes. Very possessive. Yes, very. Not now. Okay. I feel like I've been on hold. And now, with the answers that I got today, I feel like I can move on. And it's okay with him. I've just missed him so much. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm great. Hurt. I have had readings in the past. Never like this, never like this. Lisa is the real deal. This was awesome. This was exactly what I needed. <laughs>